I see the doll. Uh huh. Would you be able to, um, I guess this maybe. This is a Ann Coulter doll. She's a very popular um, television figure um, and actively speaks on a lot of uh, conservative issues. And um, so we uh, produced this doll for her, and it's been very popular. Um, it sells for thirty dollars. You can um, get it from uh, www.conservativeclub.com. She's, you know, a very accomplished author and very well liked. And so everybody likes the doll. And you can push her, push her button, and hear her talk. <laughs> oh, so what does she say? Um, she has. I think she has thirty sayings that she says. And she just. It's her most famous quotes. I can't hear it. So. Yeah. They hate America. They hate flag wavers. They hate abortion quotas. They hate all religions except Islam post 9 11. Even Islamic terrorists don't hate America like liberals do. They don't have the energy. If they had that much energy, they'd have indoor plumbing by now. They're all the reinvent the master race. There's one. I don't hate America. They hate flag wavers. They hate abortion opponents. I don't hate America. I guess I gotta hold it down. Is it broken? Oh, this one's not a happy doll. Maybe too many people have pressed her button today. <laughs> well, anyway, maybe she's been, her button's been pushed too many times. So, like, who's buying them? Do you know? I mean, have people been buying them since it's you've been It's popular here? among young women um, who idolize um, her philosophy and how well she carries herself and um, her message. It's popular among young young men young, that, that think she's cute, <laughs> that want, want one of her. Um, it's popular around older older men and different audiences that find her to be an enigma, somebody new, somebody, you know, polished and, you know, she's, she's one of the most polished people on, on the right that speaks. I would just like to say, you know, what McCarthy proves is you can never be too scandalous in talking about liberals. Unless they are calling you outrageous, you are not being outrageous enough. These people are animals, they want to destroy the country. Today they support the Taliban and Al-Qaeda the way they supported Stalin in McCarthy's day. You can never be too outrageous enough in talking about these people because it is all true. How's your experience been here um, at the convention? Um, it's been busy. Uh, people are very interested in these most dangerous liberals cards. These are selling very quickly. Um, these have every liberal you can possibly think of, you know, in the deck of cards. These sell for fifteen dollars. You can get them at our website www.humaneventsonline.com or www.conservativebookclub.com. And which which um people are, are listed in the pack. Oh, there's a lot of them. I mean, you, na you name it. The, you name the liberal, they're in here. They, there's 52. <laughs> so, okay. Every, the, the most dangerous ones. So could you give like an example? I can't really see it from here, so can you give an example? Oh, you know, Jesse Jackson, Bill Clinton, Hillary Clinton, us, um, Dashiell, everybody. You know, they're, they're all in here. And, um, I see some of the other books that are here. Are the pens? This is Bob Trill. Bob Trill's newest book, um, Madam Hillary. And what he is that about? All these. Um, it talks about um, her road to the White House. It's very much suspected that she's going to run for office for the White House. In which year? Uh, probably in 2008. And so this book talks about you know what, what she's really trying to do to get there. What position does he have? Like he was talking about, like, um, well, it's a negative position. I mean. There's no conservative that really wants to see Hillary as president. So um, it's very interesting to people that are worried about her presidency um, and what it would do to the country. So do you have any views on like what it would do to the country if she were president? Well, I myself um, would not like to see her become president. Um, I 
Um, I'm a mother of three, and um, I have a full-time job uh, with a conservative publishing company. So it's beneficial for me to have, you know, conservative candidates. Um, but she's, I think she's a threat on a lot of other levels. I think she's not very honest and not very trustworthy. And I don't think she's um, demonstrated uh, a believability around, among other countries. And, um, and we need a better emissary to international com countries. And I'm not so sure that she could do that for us, especially with these turbulent times. I'm not so sure that she's, she's the best person to be talking about the nuclear arms race and uh, things of that nature. Do you believe it's because she's a woman or like... No, no, not at or, all. Or just because she's not I would have liked to have seen Elizabeth Dole <laughs> run. Um, I, I just think that she's shown herself to be not truthful. Um, I think she, I think she's a weak woman that would stand behind a husband like that. Um, and I myself, um, as, as a married woman who's been married 12 years and with three children, I, I think that it's disgraceful the way that she handled herself and the way that she allows this infidelity and the way that their marriage seems to be an open type marriage where they don't really have any belief in a monogamous marriage and with today's AIDS concerns and I just I find them appalling. <laughs>